Hello, so I'm here today to do a kind of different video than what I normally do, and I'm doing a fashion video. I have picked some of my favorite clothing, a couple accessories, and a pair of shoes that I love, and I'll kind of explain why it's become a staple item for me, and just kind of, I think it's really important to have those items that you can wear a lot, that you can mix and match, and wear under a sweater, and wear a vest over, and... Yeah, so I'll get started here. So I used to buy clothes based on if I thought it was pretty and how many sequins it had and it was sparkly. And I kind of find that, yeah, when you buy those outlandish pieces that are really pretty and you think you'll wear a lot, you don't always end up wearing them very often. And it's those more subtle, like classic black and striped and navy and solid colors with a little bit of pattern or a little bit of texture and materials and that's when you'll wear it a little bit more frequently and just get that use out of it because I've been sorting through my closet finding some things to put on Poshmark and I've been like you know what? I don't even think I wore this like I thought it was really pretty on the hanger I tried it on it looked good but it was just a little bit colorful or like just can't wear that every day so I'll get started. My first category here is tank tops. So I have tried a lot of different tank tops and my favorite one that I've ever tried and the only one I'm ever going to buy for the rest of my life is Express's camis. And so when I say tank tops, I mean a layering shirt that you can wear under a shirt to kind of give you more coverage up here or more coverage down below. And so I love their camis. So this is just one in like an olive gray and they have two different kinds. They have one with a built-in bra and one without a bra. And the built-in bra is just this little layer that gives you a little extra support. I always still wear a bra with it. Like that's not enough to wear by yourself. So I think these are really great for layering undershirts and I wear one almost every single day. I own at least 20 of these. Um, I have them in black, white, tan, cream, olive. I have a blue one and I think I have one pink one and then more. I can't think of all the ones I own, but I own a lot. Again, I wear them almost every day. And I think the one with the built-in bra just gives you a little bit more support and kind of keeps it um, up here um, where the one without a bra, I kind of find that it's sometimes you have to make sure you tuck that into your shirt, otherwise it will kind of slide up. So that is one thing about the one with built-in bra, but I own a mixture of both and I love them. So this is the only cami I'll ever buy. Like, you can get them for, I think, $20 full price. They buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free all the time. They go on clearance. So check it out. This is Express's um, either built-in bra or not built-in bra cami. You can find them at any store. Like, it's a staple item. So the next item is another tank top, and this is a little bit more of a classic. I can wear this to work um, tank top. And so this is the Expresses, again, Express, the Portofino shirt. And they just kind of look like this. And they have, like, just a drapey bottom. And I just think that this is really a classic shirt. You can button it all the way up and then add, like, a really pretty necklace under it. And it just looks like, like you know what you're doing and you have your act together. And I actually initially saw these kind of tank tops on Pinterest. And I saw it layered button all the way to the top with that necklace and it looked so good I had to try it and it's become one of my favorite items. You can find a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. So highly recommend I have this in white, black, and this teal color and I'm waiting for like another 40% off sale to come around and I might stock up on maybe a pink and maybe like an olive green color I think would look nice. So this is kind of another staple. The nice thing about this is I live in Minnesota so I can wear this with a sweater in the winter time and just still wear it all year round, not only when it's tank top weather. So that is one thing I'll talk about is I have one of my favorite layering sweaters that I'm going to show you later. So my next favorite item that's just a simple easy t-shirt is the Madewell just v-neck with pocket t-shirt. I have this in a couple different colors. I have it in this like golden yellow, which I think looks really nice with brown hair. Um, looks nice with all colors too, but specifically like it just kind of makes your highlights in your hair pop if you have any. And Madewell shirts are just really well made. Um, I mean, it's in the name Madewell. And I just think this goes really well. Again, you can layer it with a sweater in the winter time. You can just wear this by itself with a simple necklace or without a necklace any day in the summer and fall. It's just, it's such an easy piece to own that having some v-neck and scoop necks and crew neck t-shirts in your 
um, closet just make life easy like you don't always want to have to think about what am I going to wear today sometimes you just want to throw on a t-shirt and add a necklace and just go and go outside and spend the day outside instead of trying to get ready so highly recommend um, having like a diff couple different neckline t-shirts Madewells are really good American Eagles are okay like the quality they don't wash up really well or Madewells do another kind of um, shirt that I think everyone should own is some kind of lacy shirt or some kind of peplum shirt. My next one is both. It's a lacy peplum. And I think peplums look really nice in a lot of different body shapes. They kind of make you look skinny up top and then at your stomach they kind of flare out and kind of hide anything that may be under there. And so mine is one from The Loft. It's a lacy peplum and it's in a really pretty maroon shade. And I really like this. Of course you have to wear a cami under this don't wear this without a cami you'll be in trouble and so I think lace also just it's so simple but it always looks so elegant even though it's just like a simple necklace on it like it makes it look like you spent a lot more time getting ready than you actually did and you just look um it's kind of sophisticated I think in a way like it's just more simple than like a cotton shirt or like a knit shirt it just like it just looks really pretty and this one's from The Loft, and I love this. I wish I had more colors in it. It's the only one that I have, so I'm going to keep a lookout. I see peplums are starting to come back. They were really popular a couple years ago, and now they're coming back. Yes. So the next one I have is kind of a different style from that peplum, and it's more of like a flowy shirt. And I love shirts that have multi-materials in it, or mixed, I think it's called mixed materials. And this one's kind of... A more cotton with kind of a very flowy um, side and bottom to it and what is let me look and see here it is so it is cotton polyester and rayon and I love this shirt this one's going to be really hard to find because it is from golden coat which is a subscription service and it's a potter's pot um, shirt and it's just got a really flowy bottom, flowy side, and it just carries along. So you've got this like basic shape of the striped that just kind of makes you look skinny there. And then just kind of flowy wherever that white is. And I just think having shirts that have different materials just add dimension to your outfit. And it's not just like that Madewell shirt. Like it's simple and you don't look super like dressed up or like you're going somewhere fancy where this one like just looks a little bit more put together and just a little bit more like fancy and I think this is one of my favorite shirts like I wear this one all the time this is my second or third year um owning it and my coworkers they know this shirt they're like oh it's your potter's pot shirt so it's definitely one of my favorites so the next one I want to talk about is just a long sleeve t-shirt and I picked this up at Abercrombie this winter and they're on sale now for like 11 bucks online and in stores so check it out if you need one. But I think this is just a super awesome long sleeve shirt just for um, when you just want to be a little bit more casual and just comfortable and this layers really well with vests like puffer vests like J. Cruz and other brands like it looks really great because it's just like fitted long sleeve it's super stretchy and comfortable and it just doesn't cling to any parts of your body too which is really nice when it's a stretchy more fitted shirt and I own this in um, this is navy with a white stripe I own it with in a light gray a charcoal and I think a couple other colors I think I don't like bought a couple of this navy one because it just looks so nice but it just classic it's like eleven dollars right now long sleeved super comfortable you can wear it just around your house you can wear it out you can wear it under your vest like i said like just super easy to wear and easy to match with other things which i think when you are creating a wardrobe it's important to have things that can just go well together so my last top item is a sweater and it is by olivia sky i believe i purchased this at her burgers years ago and you can probably find ones that are similar. What I love about it is it's this really pretty heathered light gray and white. And it's just really kind of warm but not too warm knit. And it has this beautiful lace detail. I noticed a lot this 
winter I saw lace details, crochet details, just a lot of different things added to kind of cardigans like this. And I think what I love about this is it goes with everything because of the color that it's this light gray and white. It just goes with everything. It has this beautiful lace trim to it that just kind of makes it look um, just extra pretty. And I would definitely say if I was to define my like fashion taste, I'm classic to feminine because I love like the lace details and I like kind of lighter colors over like just dark colors. So I highly recommend owning a sweater like this. Sweaters like this I wear with tank tops in the winter time just to kind of get more versatility from my closet. That way like I'm not packing up my tank tops um, all year round. Another style that I'm loving is wearing cardigans like this with a tank top that has sequins on it. And it just kind of, especially if it's um, just a classic like gray sweater like this and then you have like a um, kind of maybe an olive green uh, tank top with sequins, it just makes it pop. And I think it looks really nice. Another Pinterest to find. So another item I want to talk about and I just redid my background over there is um, my favorite pair of jeans. So I own American Eagle, Lucky Brand, Page Denim, Hudson jeans, Hollister jeans, which actually aren't bad, they're cheap, don't last a long time. I own a lot of different kind of jeans is what I'm trying to get at. And these are probably one of my favorite. They wash well, they don't stretch too much. You know, sometimes when you wear a pair of jeans once, you get like the diaper bud almost where it just stretches out and doesn't look good don't like those kind of jeans at all. I want to at least get three wears out of my jeans before I wash them. And I actually saw an article the other day that said you should like never wash your jeans. And I was like, that's not gonna happen. But my favorite are Levi's. And these are the Levi's 507 leggings. And they come in leggings, skinny jeans, boot cut, flare, super flare, like tons of different styles. And so this one's just like your classic skinny jeans. And when it comes to denim colors, that's what I'm most picky about in my jeans. I love kind of that medium to dark, let's see if you can kind of tell, medium to dark brown, brown, blue. And I like it because it just fits better. Like if you wear a lighter color jean, like a white or a really light wash blue, like it just, if you think about the color scale, if you have like contouring, if you have something that's dark, that's going to shade and kind of suck in. Or if you're wearing something light, like a highlighter, or like a light pair of jeans, it's gonna kind of expand and like make people look. And I don't know, I don't want people to like, I don't want my bottom to just go. <laughs> so I wear light color jeans because I just feel more comfortable in it. I notice when I'm wearing bigger, like lighter color jeans, it just does make things look bigger than they are. And so that's why when on the bottom, I'll occasionally wear a pair of white jeans, but not very often. I just stick to the classic like medium to dark denim. It just, I think it's more flattering. So that's my personal opinion. And just what I've seen when I see people wearing light jeans versus dark jeans, I'm like, I think the dark jeans just look better on you. Just sometimes light jeans can be fashionable, but I just think darker look better. So my next category is earrings. So my favorite earrings are Kate Spade's Day Tripper earrings. And I have them in several different colors. I have them in a light blue and like a turquoise and then black. And these are just super simple earrings. I don't think Kate Spade's making them anymore, but you can buy them on like eBay and um, Poshluck, Poshluck? Poshmark and other sites. And they're just classic. They go with everything, like if you have different colors. And they just add a little bit to your outfit. And I love the teardrop shape. It's one of my favorite earring shapes. Um, so those are my favorite earrings. For my favorite necklaces, I love these ones from New York and Company. I bought them a year or two ago. And they have them in a light color and a dark color. It almost is kind of that bib look that was really popular. And I have this one in like a black, like a violet blue almost, a clear and like a hematite color. And it just goes with so many things. I wear this so often. And I also have it in this light, light pink, gray and pink and peach color. And they just go with so many things and that's why I love it. I love having jewelry that's either neutral or it has pops of color. Like I have a pair of hot pink earrings over there and I think that with the right outfit I love wearing them with black it just makes it pop so just think about that when you're buying jewelry like if you buy something that's super big and like bright and has tons of different colors like 
make sure you know what you're going to wear it with if you're going to wear it with something more neutral. So these are my favorite necklaces in store. And then my favorite necklaces from my mother is, I love the one that I'm wearing today. It's this really pretty multicolored stone necklace. And then I also have this one in a pretty pink iridescent rose quartz color. And you make really nice ne necklaces, Mom. I love wearing them. And yeah, these are definitely some of my favorites. I know I have a lot. And these are just the ones that I find that I wear the most and I layer with other necklaces. Like I've been loving what, laying out with a tassel necklace. So just so you guys know, my mom's actually looking at making an Etsy page and selling some of her jewelry on it. So I will keep you updated. But those are some of my fashion tips and kind of what I rules that I follow. I kind of think I have a good pulse on fashion and trends. So let me know if you have any questions. If you're looking at buying something and you want an opinion. Let me know. I love doing that kind of stuff. I love shopping. I'm a shopaholic. So yeah, let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Until um, next time. Bye.